Hi all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we will study about Azure Batch, what it is and how we can create Azure Batch account in Azure Portal. So here on the screen, you can see the official documentation page by Microsoft for Azure Batch. Here on the page, you can see that it is used to run large scale parallel and high performance computing that is HPC jobs efficiently in Azure. It creates and manages a pool of compute nodes, VMs, installs the applications you want to run and schedule jobs to run on the nodes. No cluster or job scheduler software to install, manage or scale. That's the beauty of Azure Batch job. Instead, it uses the Batch APIs and tools, command line scripts or the Azure portal to configure, manage and monitor your jobs. I will not go further into the detail. This is the basic of Azure Batch. If we go down, it is used to run the parallel workloads. Here are the examples which are given. You can read or go through this documentation in detail. Batch capabilities, how it works. Here's a sample diagram of one of the use case of Azure Batch. Now we'll go to the other documentation, which is under the quick start to create a batch account using Azure portal. And then after creation of the account, we'll run a job by creating the pool that is the VM. So here we'll go to the other tab where this page is open, like how we have to create this batch account and run the job. This is the quick start where we have to first create the batch account. First step is creation of the batch account. Then we have to create the pool of compute nodes. Compute nodes means VMs. Then in that node, we have to create a job. Inside this job, there'll be different tasks, okay? And after creation of the task, we'll execute it and see the output. So let's go at the top, go to the Azure portal and create batch account. So here on the screen, we are in the resource group Cloud Knowledge. We'll click on the create button and search for batch service in Azure. It will give us the different options. We have to select the option called as batch service. It is the option for the HPC applications. We'll click on create and the batch service. It will open up this page to create a new batch account. So here we have the subscription and the resource group account name will give here as CK batch account. The location will select it as East US 2 and then storage account. We have to select an existing one or create a new one. So we'll create a new storage account CK storage account. CK SA. If this name is already taken, then CK SA batch account type as V2, then click OK. Now leave the rest of the settings as is. Go to the advanced tab. Here, all three authentication modes are selected, so we'll leave it. Then go to the networking as is, tags as is, review and create. Here, let the validation pass and then we'll click on the create button. So it passed, we'll click on create. Deployment has started. We'll wait for the deployment to complete and then we'll come back to open the resource of batch account. So let's come back after the deployment completion. We can see here that the deployment completed. We'll click on go to resource. It will open up the page of the newly created CK Batch account. The name of the account is CK Batch. Here on the overview section, we can see the different details of this batch service. And now the next job as per the documentation is after creation of the batch account to create a pool of compute nodes or VM. So for that purpose, on the left side, we can see here under the features section is this pool section. So we'll click on the pools and click on this plus add button to create a new pool. So for pool creation, we have to give the pool ID. It will be CK pool, let's say. The display name is optional. Then we'll go down to the operating system. Image type, let it be marketplace. We'll follow the same, which is given in the official documentation. Then. Publisher, select as Microsoft Windows Server from the top down, which is given here. Then this SKU, SKU is 2019 data center core, small disk. Then we have to select 
the you have to select the OS disk storage account type change it from premier to standard go further down to the node size we'll select the node size here here it's given as standard A1 V2 and uh, the default showing as D2 VS let's search for A1 and V2 if it's present A1 V2 is not showing here can we work for this one? I doubt it will allow or not, but let's try here. We'll select the target dedicated nodes as two. And let it be the same. And rest as default. Click OK. Let's see if this completes successfully or gives an error here under the pool ID. So we can see under the pools, we can see one pool ck pool is getting created in the location state on the last column you can see that is showing as resizing when the status from resizing is changed to steady that means it is ready to use okay batch creates the pool immediately but it will take few minutes to allocate and start the compute nodes okay after a few minutes the location state changed to ready and the nodes start so let's click on refresh at the top it's still resizing. Let's wait. In the VM size, the VM which we selected during creation of the pool is showing up. Click on refresh. It shows here now as steady and there are no other messages. That means our VM is now steady and jobs can be created here. We'll go to the Next section, which is to create job. So for creation of job in the batch account, we'll go to the job section and create a new job there. Right below the pools, we have this jobs. So we'll go to the jobs and add a new job. Job will be CK job one. Maybe we have to select the pool, the pool which you have just created. We'll select CK pool, click on it and then leave the setting as is click ok now our job is created its status active right now under the job we have to create tasks jobs can contain multiple tasks that batch queues and distributes to run on the compute nodes for creation of tasks we will go to the job section and in the jobs we'll create a task so just select your job which is created ck job one it will directly open up the task from the left, left side and we'll click on add. After clicking on add, it will ask us the task ID CK task one, let's say. And here in the example, they have given a command line. Command, which is az batch set az batch, which will give us the environment variables in this batch account. So this we have given. The next is to select the defaults and then click submit. Task is now created. We will now open this task. And we could see here the task is active and running. So this is the second option which is running. And at the file locations, the two files are getting created. STD out dot text and STD error dot text. The output of these the output of this task we can view here as shown in the documentation as well after completion running is in progress completion done then we'll open this std out.txt to see the environment variables output for the command which we have given in the task okay so let's go back here let's click on the refresh for this job let's wait for its completion After clicking on refresh, we can see that the task completed. It shows green check marks here. We go to the std error.txt, click over it. It shows nothing, no data. But when we open std out.txt, it shows the different batch, az batch related environment variables value. Okay. This is what is expected here as well. So the contents of this are similar to the following example. That is the example or the output of this task from the job.
Okay, the standard output of this star shows the Azure batch environment variables that are set on the node. As long as this node exists, you can refer to these environment variables in the job task command lines and in the apps and scripts uh, where the command runs. So this demos how we can create batch account in Azure. Inside that batch account, we can create pool that is compute nodes or VM. Inside that VM, we'll create a job and under that job, several tasks could be created and we demoed it by creating a task and executing it. Hope you have understood this video. Do let me know in comments if you have any queries. We'll be seeing more videos on this Azure service. Thank you for watching the current video. Happy learning. Bye.